The preview video clips, top left is a great spotted woodpecker, top right are some cranes, and in the bottom we can see a white-tailed eagle. Welcome to my wildlife watching vlog. This is where I go vlogging, but I keep the camera pointed away from me, so no selfies, just pictures of the wildlife. I went to Estonia in autumn 2017 to research a little book, um, and also just to enjoy it, because I'd always wanted to go. I first of all went to the Paris Pier Peninsula in the north. Here's an example view of the sand dunes with lots of lichen and moss. This is a family of Gusanda, which were maybe waiting, waiting to grow strong enough so they could uh, migrate for the winter. And then here's a typical pea plant with really tough leaves that I would expect of something that's able to survive in kind of salty conditions. So I then went to the kind of eastern forest region of Estonia, which is kind of famous as being home to some large mammals. Just about all I managed to see was this, which was a feral cat print from the forest, which I think some people might have misidentified as lynx. I, I'm pretty confident that was a feral cat, though, because of its size. And generally, I found the forest there very difficult to kind of get into trails badly maintained, which is fair enough, because I think the focus there is more on the conservation, but then there's some fantastic trails elsewhere. For example, here, uh, Endler, which has instantly become one of my favourite spots in Europe, I think. I think it's beautiful. Here's a beaver chewed twig that I found. You can just see the tooth marks. And I think it's quite likely that all these little trees that have fallen here have been felled by beavers. But who knows? But definitely a kind of typical thing to see. And here's a great spotted woodpecker that I saw feeding on a tree. Also at Endler. There are just so many amazing places to go in the world to see wildlife. But some of them, when I visit, I'm like, I definitely want to go back. And Estonia, for me, is one of those places. I'm just like, wow, I really want to go back. I think it's amazing. Really excited to be able to go back in spring. It's definitely on my list. Anyway, uh, Korvimar. Not quite sure how you pronounce it. Here's a red squirrel. And then we're about to see a raccoon dog print. So there were definitely raccoon dogs around. I saw tracks everywhere. And then also some wild boar droppings. So more field signs. And for those of you who watch my videos, yep, yeah, more poo. Exciting. So lots of mammals around. Um, what I kind of discovered from my exploration is I don't think you have to go to the eastern forest to see the mammals. You can see the mammals all over. Okay, Pusas Pier, which is a little kind of headland area. Offshore, you can see scoter migrating and other birds as well. This is a little flock of scoter. I count. I was. I. I tried to do a guesstimate count, and I was like, ooh, well over a thousand an hour flying past, which I thought was pretty amazing. I just love the way they kind of form this line that kind of works its way along the water. And near shore, I saw a white-tailed sea eagle. I think it might... I'm not sure. I think it could be carrying a tern. I'm not really sure. Definitely carrying some kind of bird that it's caught. Matsula Bay. Uh, one particularly good spot is Kloostri. There was a signing in book there, and I saw lots of bird watchers from all over Europe that had signed in. It seems to be a really popular spot, and I can see why. There were some excellent views, and if I hadn't gone up just a bit too early in the autumn, I would have seen a lot more. Here's a great spotted woodpecker that I spotted. I quite like this photo myself. Uh, finish off, here's a video of some cranes that I saw at Nigula. I'm going to be quiet so you can hear them calling. Go and check out my blog. It's in the description. I talk a lot more about this. I think it's a great place to go 